After the USA plays China on April 10th here at Qualcomm Stadium, the U.S. players will head back to their clubs as Season 2 of the NWSL kicks off this weekend. We talked to two players from three of the clubs to get their thoughts on the second season of the National Women's Soccer League. I think last year was a great first year, um, kind of crazy near the end with the standings and I think it's only going to continue on to this year. We are just really excited to get started again. Uh, it's interesting, you know, it's like a six month off season and so it, it kind of just went by so quick though and then to already have been in preseason for a bit and then now we're going straight from, you know, San Diego to our games and uh, yeah, just excited to get it going. I'm really excited for the season. Um, obviously coming back from France is kind of a big change, um, so I'm excited to get back for the whole time. Uh, and be there for every game, hopefully. And I think that our team's done a decent job bringing in some new players. <laughs> we'll work with what we have. <laughs> I'm happy to be back in the Northwest and kind of my home. So yeah, I'm super excited, super excited to play with, with this mm -hmm. one. Last year definitely showed the competitiveness between each team. Um, every team is a quality side, so you have to come to play for every game. I built a little bit of my confidence last season playing with Boston and being able to score um, some goals coming in from the left side, so I'll be taking over her position on left flank. So. <laughs> no, on I'm the playing. practice squad. <laughs> I'm playing forward. It was mostly like kind of growing pains, I think, for everybody in the NWSL since it was new. Kind of every team was figuring out how they were going to play with the players that they had. And I think the second year, you're going to see every team being better, every organization being better. And I think that's going to increase the level of competition, but also create a really great environment for all the games. Everyone kind of knows the flow now, um, which I think makes a big difference. I think that, you know, the little areas that the teams can improve in, whether that's players or facilities or travel or whatever, I think everyone's done a good job doing that, and I think everyone's kind of, you know, has their feet under them, so to speak. Basically, every team has improved in, in multiple ways, you know, whether it be organizationally, getting new players, um, some more foreign players have come over, girls, you know, great U.S. players have come back to the league. So just the, the quality is going to be even better than it was last year. I mean, we saw that improve throughout the season last year, and I think we're just starting at a really good point this year. I also think the college players coming in um, have had a year under their belt to grow, so it's gotten better there. And I think the girls coming out of college this year were extremely good players and will only help the level. Yes, Gia shouldn't have a lot of potential. She thinks she does, but she doesn't get it. Kids, because you're not the simplest of kids. Yeah, you think you're simple, but you're not simple. You're so complicated, gay. You want to be a simple, gay, but you're not a simple, gay. This is our language. This is how we talk. People get super annoyed, but it's hilarious. Simply, I'm just gonna pass the ball to her. She's gonna simply score a goal. It's not complicated, gig. <laughs> go, go blue. <laughs> yeah. FCKC. All the way. <laughs>